American Fiction is the best movie. Oh, damn, you're ready. Action! Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was going to let you go. I don't normally do CTS on a full stomach and edibles, but you're feeling great are. today. Yeah, <laughs> normally not great today. Normally I haven't eaten until 3 o'clock. He's and like, yeah. let's go. Let's fucking do this, American Fiction. So the surprise movie... Mm. Of the year, mm-hmm. because it technically came out at the tail end of last year. I know we're a week into the but new But it's still year. getting another it's release like this year? It's rolling out. Yeah, I think I think if it keeps making money, they'll just keep plotting it in a, uh, more theaters. I saw, I saw a trailer for it last night, and everyone was laughing at all the jokes. It opens with the remain scene. He's like, I'll eat your fucking sweater for breakfast. <laughs> this movie. I didn't know it was a comedy going in. I genuinely did okay. not know it was a comedy, okay. and I like... They're they're playing it for laughs, like the book excerpt scene. I'm not. We'll we'll get into like the setup, but I didn't know like that was supposed to be common. I'm like, is this funny? And then it's like people are laughing, and I'm like, are they laughing because they just want to get it, or like because they get it? Because they get it, and right. it's like, holy shit, dude! It's such a smart comedy. That's too. what I was gonna say. Now, and it's funny because when the trailer dropped months ago, <laughs> and we, we were like, we always we, we come in and we do prep and we're going, and I'm like, hey, did you see this Jeffrey Wright thing? And he's nah. like, what's it about? And I'm like, it's like a writer who ends up, and I kind of give him the plot <laughs> synopsis. And he goes, and I'm like, yeah, that doesn't <laughs> sound like whatever. Come full all the way around now, like we, we see the trailer again, and then we get a chance to see the movie. And I didn't watch any up, trailers for okay, it going in. I got in, to yeah. see the trailer, and I was like, we got to see this movie. Yeah, it it was it was it blew me away. It was set up more in the trailer as like a drama with some f- comedy elements, but I think overall the movie ends up being way more comedy, way more yeah than drama. And it and it is <clears throat> very much like the Good Place. Yeah, the writer director of this movie wrote for the Good Place, the Aziz Ansari show, Master of None. Mm-hmm. And like a couple other, uh, in the Watchmen HBO Max show, which so, is revered, people love that. Which is is decent. Yep. Um. So yeah, it was very interesting to see this kind of movie. I know. I'm exist. trying. To <laughs> it's yeah. it's set it. We want to set it up without giving what it is about it's, away. It's almost. a super twisty movie, but finally, and I had this talk with with my daughter, who's you know she's trying to go to school for animation and all this mm-hmm. stuff. She's getting into movies and twists for the sake. She had just watched something and she was telling me, "I'm so sick." Of people making twists, she watched some like television show, like a show. Scooby-Doo level mm-hmm. twist. Yeah, and she's Mr. like, "Mr. McGuffin." Well, like when they build a character, they build something up for for either a whole movie or a whole se- a whole season of a thing just to do a twist, just to be like, "Got ya." That's not good writing. I can think of a, a recent super good example: of Five Nights at Freddy's. We're gonna set up this Matthew Lillard character for no reason other than twist. He's the bad guy, right? Yeah, like well, duh, duh, right? Or why? Or why? Why did we even? That's not a twist, right? Yeah. So this is a sh- this is a movie that like actually like hey D and D from Game of Thrones I hope you watch something like this and go oh this is what subverting oh, expectations is that's how you write <laughs> weird huh it's crazy this movie so many things I didn't see coming yeah in this movie yeah it's one of the most original and I know it's adapted from a from a novel oh that makes sense that makes sense but these are the movies and books you need to make from. Or movies you need to make from books, guys. This. Yeah. This. Yeah. And let these people adapt them. It makes more sense that this is kind of a book because it starts and you're already in. You're in. The movie starts in, in like, but we're going. It's oh, like yeah. Normally I know movies do like 20, 30 minutes of setup. And it's like this movie goes but disguises that 20, 30 minutes of setup as like actual substance. Like you're already kind of like in the world. You've already had 20 yeah. minutes to watch. And it's like now we're actually doing something in these first 20 minutes and filling this like void of movies that normally have that's why i miss like five the first five minutes of every movie are the fucking exact same here's the characters and here's what the movie's about cool if you saw the trailer or you're buying a ticket you probably already know what the fucking movie no, you're about. right quick like, example barbie that's streaming now on mm-hmm. max was on in my house the first eight minutes of that movie they say hey barbie and i know it's a joke but the in- they beat you over the head with what's coming for literally like 10 it's like minutes. you could miss that entire like, you don't need any of that but i'm at the bar but like I'm, I'm here at the bar i got it movie. i got it i, got I know it. I, yeah it's fun it's a funny scene yeah, but, but, but i got it but you didn't need to make it 10 minutes long and you're right that's most movies that's most movies they got to hold your hand for the first 15, five, 15 20 minutes <sighs> even yeah mostly yeah this one is hey this one's like go you're in the world because it's a world that exists and like characters wouldn't be setting up their lives as if a viewer is just tuning in, you yeah. know? So I no, appreciate I do. That. I like, yeah. you're right. Drop yeah. me in the world, but like, don't drown me. But like, it's perfect to where, yeah, and it's this really weird world where it's completely believable, but yet also like maybe five degrees off of where we live. Exaggerated. Right. For sure. Yeah. Um, but like weirdly not that exaggerated. 
Like that's what I'm saying. They they the tone that they hit in it's, this movie it's, is it is in the sense that it's a comedy, right? So it like has to be. But, but, but at the yeah. same time, in the back of your head, you're like, I could absolutely. Yeah, this makes th- I buy that. <laughs> I buy that. Yeah, I, I that ab- absolutely makes sense. So Jeffrey Wright, let's get into plot a little bit. Who has climbed here. my charts in the last two years? He's anyway, fucking great man. Nailed he's it. He's great. Um, this. He's in Westworld. He's the Watcher in the MCU What If series. He's Gordon um, Wright and Batman. Jim Gordon. Now. Yeah, in the Batman. Holy shit! I did totally forgot he's in that yeah, movie. Yeah, this guy. And he kills it in the Batman. Yeah, Jeffrey Wright. Uh, Stars as if a, you're a Jeffrey Wright fan, watch this movie. Watch this just, movie. Just, you'll I'll be, just say that you'll yeah. be a much bigger Jeffrey Wright fan <laughs> afterwards, like I am now. Jeffrey Wright stars as a disgruntled writer who hasn't sold or published a novel. <laughs> I know. I I, I was like qu- quaking in my fucking seat. I think there was a, a <laughs> I think it registered on the fucking Richter scale. Yeah. I'm thinking of you while I'm watching it. <laughs> I, mean, I know it's us, but I'm like, oh, he's disgruntled writer who can't sell a novel goes to um. A book reading by another novelist who published a book called uh, called Wee's Lives in the Ghetto. The <laughs> Ghetto, yeah. D A, please. <laughs> Wee's lives <laughs> in in the ghetto. ghetto. And he's he's standing at the back, and she's like about to read like an excerpt from her book, and it is like. S- s- bonkers super over the top like <laughs> racist bonkers is the like, word i have fucking to, yeah, nuts no, yeah it's... like the most cliche black thing on the fucking planet whole crowd full of white people the bu- lady opens the book and she goes yo shonda <laughs> what you want to ask me and i'm at that point i'm like is this a is this a comedy? like am i sp- how am i <laughs> and do i laugh it cuts to the fucking crowd and they just and then you realize, oh, oh, it's oh, a I comedy. Get it. Oh, it's oh, a comedy. I get it. it is. And Jeffrey Wright's like, what? What the? F- are you serious? Ugh. Are you fucking kidding me? So this whole movie is about him trying to get a, a novel he published that isn't black enough. Um, and he goes, well, I'm black. It's my book. It's a black book. <laughs> right. But that that's. And here's where I say this starts to get it, it, it treads in realism a lot because the points of this are true. It's like. Hey, why are you just writing like what what normal white guys would write? Basically, is what they're saying. And he's right. like, "Well, that basically, I have nothing to do with. I'm just trying to write a story." Yeah, he's like, "I'm just a publisher, right. For a book, I'm not like. Uh, doesn't matter what color like, well, I we am. We needed to be. Well, since you're black, you should write a more black stories. So then he's like, "Oh, okay, you want black story." <laughs> Is that what you want? So it cuts to him like writing, and while he's writing the book, the two characters like spawn in his little like writing room and like are acting so it I'm out. Saying, it's like that was such movie, a cool like it's gimmick so to have. Yeah, it was. It was like, is it all in his head? Which, but it's not that kind of movie, so it's not it, like all in. I know, his and head. I don't want to give away the end because no. there's like that cool twist oh at my the God. end that it's just. We'll get there without uh, spoiling uh, it, I think. But so he's writing this bo- new book, um, which is the most over the top fucking thing ever it took- about. The, the idea from the beginning when he's like, oh, I'm going to double down. I'm going to double down. Yeah. I'm gonna on what she did, I'm going to <laughs> triple fucking down. Yeah. Where it's like these two characters he's writing about oh is like God. one like deadbeat homeless dad who's like drinking in an alleyway. And then like another big black dude with a fucking eye patch and a do rag. And he's got a fucking he's got a gun like trained on this fucking like dude who's like turns out to be his like lost father or whatever and it it is it is just the most over the top scene in the fucking movie it, you know <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so this book he writes is like on that level of the book uh we we lives in the ghetto um where it's just super over the fucking top yeah everything yeah. and he's like writing this book as bait basically he's like i want to beat him over the head with their own stupidity by yeah, I'm gonna make it so what they think they want. Yeah, that they're gonna go. Oh, I, we could never. We don't want this. You're right. It's like, but that's what you. That's so what you you're a hypocrite, for, right? Right. But instead, they're like, we love it so much. Here's seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, a movie deal. Oh which, my god! And every time he tries to tank screw it. it up and tank it, he just gets another. A, 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 a reward, money. a reward, More money. basically yeah. for his effort. So he writes it under uh, as a pseudonym, mm-hmm. um, and then it's like Which invented. Is what, like, uh, what's a sug? What was it? What was it? Uh, R R Lee or something? Was, I can't think of the yeah, first it name. Yeah, really but weird, like Suggs or stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but he's like writing this book under a pseudonym, so he has to play the part. Yeah, his agent like, wants him to pretend to be a fugitive, like run from the law, and he's like super gangster. But it's Jeffrey Wright. 
So it's like the funniest hello, fucking thing. I'm when he's on the phone, Wright. when he's on the phone call for like the first book <laughs> meeting, he's like, "Oh, hello, yes, I'd like to um uh go over the book deal for the thing." And then like the fucking uh, manager publishes, like looks at him like, "What are you doing, bro?" And then he's like, <laughs> he like does these like stupid fucking cliche po. He does like the mouth thing where he's talking from the side of his mouth. Oh my god! And like the other person on the phone was like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> I didn't know what I expected at the beginning there, but you sound better now. <laughs> like him talking as Jeffrey Wright made the publishers so confused that like he could like a smart like college dude could write this like black book, you know? Right. Yeah. This. Oh my fucking god! This him movie, fucking with white people in this movie is say, the funniest thing ever. Yeah. This is absolutely taking a shot at a certain demographic in our country right now, and I know we got to be careful with the way how things work. I think that's why it has a limited release. I think you're right as well. I, this is targeting yeah. people we specifically know. <laughs> and it's really funny because... No, I want to sit those people down and like watch them watch But the they movie. will laugh for the wrong reasons. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like, If you watch this movie, mm-hmm. this is almost like a... <laughs> for a lack, test. I was going to say, for lack of a better phrase, a racism test. Because <laughs> it's in your face and it is funny, but it's it is so very funny. like, here's what actually kind of exists but in the world. It's real. Yeah. It's like, you think you want the, they like have the line where it's like, white people think they want the truth, but they just want to like fit in. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's like, oh, okay, shit. It's <laughs> That's why when it like starts and they're like making jokes, I'm like, can I? Can I laugh at this? And then it like, oh, it's a comedy. Like, so yeah. Right. Like anyone can laugh Well, you at can laugh. Yeah, it's like, if you're laughing, make sure you're laughing for the right reasons. And I mean that sincerely because it could be, if you watch this. I like that. It's a test. Well, because <laughs> I'm trying to think of how is. you say it, right? If you're like a super racist person, just in general, like it's a person that hates other people, you'd probably laugh your ass off at this. Probably. But for the but wrong they're making reasons, fun of though. you, though, mm-hmm. why you're laughing at mm-hmm. it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is like a cherry on top. Yeah. It's like they're making fun of you while you're laughing at them making fun of you. It's like you're laughing at yourself. This is South yeah. Park level mm-hmm. Ri- mm-hmm. writing, and I can't believe that. We don't get many smart comedies No, nowadays. like this? Oh, my God. That's what oh I'm saying. Did Matt God, Trey dude. supervise? That's what it felt like. Like, is this like South Park live action we're watching, like, in the universe? That's what the movie felt like. <laughs> Because it was outlandish, but not outlandish at the same time. And the movie had heart, too. Yeah, that's it what was you like, mean. oh, I, c- I care about these characters we've only known for an hour. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rebel Moon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think this movie gets an 8, 5 out of 10. Wow. I, I genuinely I have been yelled at by it. multiple people. I genuinely liked it. Uh, uh, viewers, fans, and family that we're <laughs> too harsh. Okay. So my New Year's resolution is to try to not, not to just purposely make better reviews but to really analyze, analyze the movie and make sure i'm not being a dick this movie had nothing working against it I no think. this movie cast was solid the fucking writing was the most yeah, on point writing i think i've seen in a long time the fucking the score was great the movie looked good it had all these beach like themes and stuff because where yeah, they're living like a lot wrong with it, it was fucking and it was fucking hilarious yeah I'm gonna, up to the very fucking end it was hysterical. yeah which by the way twist city Hysterical. appropriately twist that you're like son of a bitch i kind of caught on to like the movie thing mm-hmm. a, like but it was but still an hour s- in i was gonna I say the way on. they start to mm-hmm. split uh, mm-hmm. yeah no no it's it's a good it's a, i don't right, want to give away the comedy. ending no, at all no, 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 but no, 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 there's no, about no. three endings to this movie <laughs> yeah 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 and each they one almost, gets funnier and funnier almost, it's almost making fun of lord of the rings it's like a, the way that uh, that's. the uh, next goal wins where they're like, oh, that's where they keep doing the that's multiple a more endings, modern, more recent. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> where yeah I'm like, gonna give it an eight eight. Mm, wow, holy shit. Okay, this yeah. was this was go see this movie and on rewatch this might grow. It might make it to our, our nine club. There's things you missed. Mm-hmm. I'm, I guarantee there's things you missed. No, this movie has heart. It's funny. Um, and Jeffrey Wright, Jeffrey Wright should get nominated for fucking something kills in this it in this movie. movie. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely destroys this movie in a good way. Yeah. All right, because I feel like you could make that look. I feel like a James Marsden needs to be Steve. You know what I mean? Like someone well, no, younger well, than Jack Black. I think. If they, I At think least if they animate, I don't know. I think it'll be fine if they just make him like a cubed. They had Patton Oswalt do the voice in uh, the the video oh, game yeah. adaptation. So oh, yeah. I'm fine with Jack okay. Black. Being <laughs> <laughs> but he's not Steve in that one though. Nobody, he's like an 